A year in now and heavily discounted, the first generation Samsung Galaxy Chromebook has now ironically become the best valued Chromebook on the market, with arguably one of the best displays not only on a Chromebook but on any laptop alongside native pen support. This fiery little laptop deserves a second look in 2021. I'm Alex and you are now entering the Subnautics. Originally released with the latest Intel i5 processor, the 10th generation chipset is no longer the current and most badass chipset out there, but it does remain competent in its own right. With 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage supporting this first generation Chromebook, I actually prefer buying this laptop from Samsung over their somewhat watered down second generation version. Now. Let's talk about the mobile games for a minute because processor and mobile games, they kind of correlate. Since the merging of the Google Play Store into Chrome OS, mobile games have been on a general incline of productive gameplay experience. From many developers incorporating keyboard key mapping to their actual games, I'm starting to enjoy my time with some of these mobile games on Chromebooks now. I'm also a fan of emulator games here with the keyboard as my controller. It works quite well. Performance is just about the best you can get from a Chromebook at the moment. However, the true beauty of this laptop lies where your eyes resonate. No, I'm not talking about the bright Fiesta red coloring this variant sports. It's the 4K 13.3 inch AMOLED touchscreen panel that steals the show. This is easily one of the best Chromebook displays I've had the pleasure of using. With the signature oversaturated colors made famous by Samsung's AMOLED panels, the colors of the images on this display are vivid to the max. This means the reproduction of the hue is not true tone, which some users may prefer for say something like photo editing. I don't do any of that on my Chromebooks anyway, and thus using the Galaxy Chromebook as an entertainment tool has just been the bee's knees. Supporting the visuals are stereo speakers on the side bases of the frame. The audio is distinctive for this overall experience on a Chromebook. I'd actually say this is some of the best audio reproduction from a Chromebook speaker I've reviewed to date. Micro SD card support also expands a lot of the additional entertainment purposes that can be provided on this laptop. Now that the Galaxy Chromebook's new price is stationed at $549, the quality of the aluminum body feels like a steal. It's well built and extremely lightweight by my standards for a Chromebook. Weighing in at 2.29 pounds, the Galaxy Chromebook is easier to hold with one hand when flipped back in a tablet mode. This is still a position I don't use often on any type of Chromebook, but the ease of which I can hold it is thanks to that weight it's an, it's an incentive that entices me to potentially use it more. However, the display is a little bit too large to hold comfortably as a tablet for long periods of time in my opinion. I do love the look and feel of the metal body and if I had really anything to nitpick on, it will be that the feet on the bottom shelf just slides on tables too easily. This of course is a moot point if the desk the laptop is on has like a desk mat, but the Galaxy Chromebook just doesn't have enough grip as it's constructed. Since this is Samsung, it wouldn't be a premium device if a pen isn't included. I'll give credit where credit is due. There isn't an OEM out there that makes devices with pens incorporated inside the body as nicely as Samsung does it. The pop-up mechanic where the pen is stored fills and operates as well as it does on any Galaxy Note phone. While I don't use pens on my laptops frequently enough to find them essential, uh, but one aspect that I do find convenient is using the pen to fill out like a PDF document and using it for DocuSigns. Speaking of out of the ordinary, this Chromebook has two webcams, two of them. One is located where webcams traditionally are located above the display, while the other is on the board of the keyboard. This hypothetically covers the front and back side of say like a conference call in tent mode for easy references. The webcam quality isn't even worth discussing. If you are on a camera, often for work, 
get an external webcam and save yourself the embarrassment from using this. Typing this review on the keyboard of the Galaxy Chromebook is a little strange. While the keys are well spaced and quite comfortable to type on, the travel is extremely shallow without much feedback. This isn't uncommon for a laptop of this thin stature, but I'm not used to how muted the keys feel as you press down. It, it's not a bad typing experience for sure, but it doesn't, it, it, it just isn't my favorite typing experience on a laptop. The trackpad, on the other hand, is comparable to that of the ones on, like, say, the Google Pixel Books lineup. It's wide and responsive. Did I actually mention, too, that it's a glass trackpad? Like, even though we've received a lot more quality Chromebooks over the last couple of years, glass trackpads are still not as common as I'd like to see. Not only does this trackpad feel great, it performs just as nicely. From a color scheme standpoint, though, I would have liked a little bit of contrast. Like the keyboard and the trackpad are both the same red color as the body of the laptop. It's, it's a lot of red for these eyes. As far as battery life goes, the 4K display will obviously dictate a lot of the power consumption on here. I was able to get about 68 hours of usage with near 100% brightness. That's not too bad for a 6,390 milliamp hour battery size when you also put into the perspective of how thin this Chromebook actually is. The moral of the story is that some overpriced products at launch, this was $1,000, may very well become sleeper value hits later down the road. It's 2021, and I'd still take this Galaxy Chromebook with its gorgeous 4K display at $550 over many of the newer Chromebooks that have launched within striking distance of that $500 mark. With its striking appearance, lightweight, and pleasing display, I dare say the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook first gen may have very well displaced the Google Pixelbook Go as my preferred Chromebook. And that Pixelbook Go has been in my everyday bag carry for like since launch day of that device. So heavy praise for me on this device with this new price point, brand new. So check it out if you uh, are looking for a premium Chromebook. Once again, I'm Alex from The Subnautics. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed this video. We would appreciate that very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The other day, my house was leaking, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about this. I'm a tech guy. I only know tech, so how do I fix that? And then you subscribed, and it fixed it, so thank you.